Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 view and today we are doing another episode of turning an object into a star so we have not done one of these for like five months but I thought I'd um, bring this series back or just sort of do it as like one-off episodes nowadays anyway but I thought I'd bring it back and do it with an object um, that's very very far away so we're going to just keep zooming out we're going to be doing the goblin today so yeah it's been a while since we've had this in a video isn't it but yeah remember this this was when one of those little dwarf planets or the Dwarf Planet DG, TG387, this was discovered uh, quite a while back now, and I've, I made a custom version of it, so if you want to see how I made that, check out that video, um, it'll be in my Massive Universe Sandbox playlist, um, but yeah, here is the Goblin, we're going to be turning this into a star, and we're going to see how it affects the solar system, because this is quite far away, like if we look, it almost takes 40,000 years to go around the sun, it's uh, 1,138 AU around that sort of distance away, like or 2,000, I'm not sure which one of these it is precisely, but yeah, this is a very far away object. I mean, just look at the orbit on this. Like if we zoom out, and I will say this orbit isn't exactly the most accurate because I did do this off concept art. I don't actually know the actual stats of it, but I'm pretty sure this is fairly uh, fairly um, good uh, compared to all it actually is. So yeah, I've got it over here, and we're going to do it or um, collide stuff with it, and we're going to make it bigger and bigger until it becomes a star. So... Yeah, we're going to do the good old uh, way of colliding objects and making it bigger and bigger and bigger until it um, becomes a star. So, oh my god, look how small it is as well. It's only 300 kilometers. This thing is very small, even smaller than a small moon. Like, even asteroids are fairly large compared to it. So, we'd have to smash something really small into it to start off. So, we'd probably have to go with Ceres, something like that. So, where is it? Uh, Mimus. Yeah, Mimus works. So... If we, uh, yes, we're quite slow right now. If we put my that there, we should be able to crash into the goblin here. We've got, I don't know why there's a crater there when nothing's hit it there. That's pretty weird. Let's just um, put a few Mimuses around. Uh, hopefully the goblin can eat them all up. So, come on, come on. There you go. Yep, yeah, destroy all those Mimuses. There we go. So, it's going to slowly gain mass quicker and quicker here. There you go. That's what we want to see. So it's getting bigger. You can see the radius is going up pretty nicely. So we're going to keep uh, spawning mammoths in. We can see the object is getting bigger and bigger with all this extra mass it's getting. So there we go. Slowly popping bigger and bigger. We'll turn off um, trails and orbits because that's getting annoying. So there we go. Oh, all those all those poor mammoths are just crashing straight in there. Oh dear. So there's that. We can probably start throwing an Enceladus in there now as we are slowly getting bigger and bigger. What about a Charon? We could almost as large as Pluto's moon now. So yeah, these Saturn moons are still a little too big for um, my liking there. So we'll have to keep using Enceladus until we can get more mass in that guy. So let's keep um, going. There you go. That's what we want to see. So Charon, we can actually eat that now. So there we go. Let's start eating that up. Hopefully we've got enough mass to consume it, which we do. So let's keep doing it. It's almost a uh, 1,000 um, radius. Oh no, we're all, we are now. We're bigger than Pluto now. At that that's pretty quick actually pluto is um how much mass does pluto have i'm not sure if we have more mass but i'm gonna take a risk and spawn a pluto in and it looks like it should win yeah there we go oh it's getting way bigger now look at this i haven't actually done um, one of these episodes in the latest updates so maybe um this may work <laughs> quite nicely because we used to have problems with um once the planet got to a gas giant, sometimes it just popped out of existence for no reason which is really weird but hopefully that won't happen today this is this is coming along really nicely so getting a bit of lag, but that's to be expected of all those little particles. <laughs> Let's just keep spawning it in. Because Universe Sandbox was mostly designed to simulate collisions, to my knowledge. So, yeah, we don't have many collisions in videos um, nowadays. So, yeah, we don't need to bring that back more. And also, if you guys have got any um, what-if ideas for videos, then let me know um, in the comments as well. Because what-if um, videos are always quite fun. Like, we haven't done many with... Um, crashing objects to earth so maybe we could do stuff like that or objects like maybe we could do some more collision sort of theories because we haven't done many of those um yet but yeah you guys let me know what you want to see if you want to see what if videos um a bit more often because i used to do them all the time until we started doing the like the regular sort of series um like the checking out solar systems and stuff like that oh there we go so now we're going to throw some really big objects in with the marses here well they're not really big but we're going to throw a lot bigger ones in oh my god this thing is growing really nicely look at this we're now the size of an Earth, but we still haven't got that mass yet, so we can't throw an Earth in yet. We can't throw a Venus in yet either, so we're going to have to keep um, eating up these Marses until we gain enough mass to be able to take down an Earth. Because even though it may be bigger, I'm pretty sure if we collided it with an Earth, the Earth would win because of the mass, our superior mass. So we're going to have to keep uh, doing these 
Looks like some of the Marses are trying to collide there. That probably won't work, though, because I think the Goblin is way too large um, for Marses now. Oh, my God, let's get her in really strong. All right, that, now we're the size of a less. We can start, we'll throw a few Venuses in. Why not? So, there we go. There's a Mars going there as well. I'm hoping this, oh, my God, jeez. That was insane. Just popped massive. Look at the Earth now. Oh, dear. Remember, this started off at 300, so it's pretty darn big now. Um... What else can we throw in? Can we throw in a uh, Kepler planet. I know they're a little bigger. Go on, Kepler. There we go. 69C. Now, this actually spawns with city lights. So, you can see there's one there. Someone actually said that in the comments of the video. That apparently this planet can actually spawn with city lights. So, there we go. Got one there as well. So, pretty pretty little weird. But I think it's like every time it does it. All right. So, you can see since a lot of the... Oh. Oh, no. They still haven't fixed that glitch. That's been in the game ever since we started doing these. Okay. I'll have to spawn a new one in. Quickly uh, pull it to 40,000, because that's what it, where it was. There we go. Play. There you go. Eat them all up. Get your revenge. Pretend you didn't see that, because <laughs> that glitch is very annoying. So, there we go. Oh, yeah. Look at that. It's just ripping those earths to shreds. So, there we go. It's all that glitch in between color and water as well. Okay, that's pretty weird. Can't eat up those earths. You can't get away from this earth. Earth, I'm, I'll drag you back in then. There you go. Enjoy. Have fun. There you go. Oh, we have another escapee over here. That's not allowed. That's going back. It's going to get pulled in. Yeah, it's getting pulled in. And there you go. It's gone. All right. So now the goblin is a lot larger. We will now start throwing mass into it. So let's do this. Let's make it a quite. Let's make it like a UI Scotty size star as well, because this is quite far away from our solar system. Remember, we need to make this thing pretty big to have an effect. Well, even even a star of not many, not much mass would still have an effect. But we want to have we want to have some crazy effects. So we want to go to tools. We want to go to more, and then we want. Oh no no, it's no. We want to go to material. There we go. All right. So we're going to turn all of the. We're going to turn. Oh, we'll leave that. But we're going to turn the rate up. We're going to increase the speed to one thousand. Don't use this command much. Um, we'll just use a uh, silica. And there we go. So if we start spraying it with mass, we should see it go up. Yeah, that's good. Let's go on the ultra laggy mode so we can really see um, stuff happen here. So there we go. So you can see all that material I'm shooting is going into the planet, which is good. So you can see the mass is slowly going to increase as I shoot it more and more. So that is good. So let's um, keep going here. All right, particle mass. We also want to increase this. So let's go with about five Earths in mass. So that's going to really make it grow a lot bigger. So there we go. You can see the mass is going up nicely now. So, and then look, we want to turn that off, and then we'll go to five. There we go. So that's what we want. So now we can really see. There you go, the Jupiter mass. There we go. It's really climbing in mass now. It's almost the size of a Jupiter as well. So there we go. Right, now we'll, since it's a gas giant, we'll have to start throwing um, hydrogen in. There we go. So let's keep doing this. You can see it's rotating funny as well because we've collided it so much. So there we go. Now the mass is really growing. Let's pull it to 15 Earths, and let's keep uh, making this boy bigger. So let's um, do this. I think the temperature is increasing now. Now we have a star. Right, so we're going to just continually pump it up with mass until it just pops into something massive. I hope it won't explode, but we're just going to keep giving it more mass and hopefully it will um, get nice and big for us. So, come on. So, right, let's pull it up to a sun now. That's going to be pretty yeah, nice. One sun. Is that going to... I hope it doesn't make it explode. Oh, no. Oh, we've got like a pulsar now. Okay. All right, we can relive with that. I mean, it's um pretty big. I will turn off that magnetic field because that will get annoying. So it is a Nova Remnant, but it's still a star, so it's all good. So there we go. Let's close that menu, reopen it. So we should see the star options now. There we go. Luminosity. All right, so we're going to buff this thing up to about 4 AU in size. Let's go 5, actually. So that's the UI Scooty sort of size now. But even though it's still pretty far from our system. So it's got 700 sun masses. Oh, that's a nasty... Uh, Nasty thing there, so there we go. Get rid of that Nova Remnant. Right, so there we go. So we've got an insanely large goblin here just chilling outside the solar system. Now we're going to see if um, got some fragments in there. What are those fragments doing? Can we delete these? Can we zoom in on them? There's just fragments just chilling inside it. Has it been able to destroy them? Actually, you know what we'll do is we'll spawn a whole new star. In. So let's go goblin. Because I think this one may be bugged since it did explode. So... There we go. They get rid of all these stupid fragments. Let's just do that. There we go. Right, so we've got the new goblin here. Right, and we're going to put you up to 5 AU. Oh, and that's a black hole. Hang on a minute. That's not right. We click 5. <laughs> Why did it do that? Right, so... Right, that's all off. Right, AU, we are going to click 5. So there we go. 5. We want 5. 
And it makes it 88. Okay, well, Universe Sandbox isn't officially a broken game because I you clearly saw me put five in there. That is extremely weird. So we'll put up to about 200 suns. And it makes it a black hole again. Ah, that's so annoying. Okay. That is really, really annoying. So let's search the goblin again. It takes a lot, it takes a lot of uh, trial and error to fix this because buggy game does not like me. So go over 100 Jupiter. Just get it into a star. All right, there we go. That's a star. And we want to make it a little bigger. There we go. Right, that's what we want because it's that option there is a real problem maker sometimes as well. We want it at five. Is it that hard to ask? There you go. That's what we want. So it's 100 Jupiters. We'll uh, buff that up to about 500 suns. That's what we want. All right. Pretend uh, all that colliding made this. Pret pretend it made this. You didn't see anything. All right. Play. Oh, no, we'll save it. We'll just call it um, Goblin. There we go. Don't really care what it's named. All right. There we go. All right, so now we got a 500 sun mass, 500 AU star outside our solar system, pretty much. So we've got all the regular planets here. So the thing is, what's going to happen here? Because that those are, the planet 9's already been pulled away from the sun, it looks like. So that's pretty spooky. So we're going to see... Um, it's probably going to take quite a while for something to happen because that star needs to head all the way over here. So we may have to... Uh, we can't really run it much quicker. We've got quite a lot of objects running in here, so... We can clearly see the star is on a course to collide, so hopefully we can speed it up with the options here. Um, can we? No? No, we can't. Okay, that's really annoying. So we're going to slowly drag it closer. You can clearly see it's on a collision course, so we're going to pull it there. Now we're going to see what sort of travel it can cause. So there you go. That's what we want. So, yeah, it would have taken it quite a while to uh, travel here, but now you can see with that 500 and massive sun there is no way of escaping this absolute beast so we're going to put it up to about I don't know, 100,000 suns i think sounds pretty reasonable for luminosity on it so there we go so yeah that thing pretend it's drifted all the way from over there because if we were going to run it doing it it would have taken hours because the fastest we can run it is at a few days and that thing is quite a long way away so pretend it's traveled this far planet 9 probably wouldn't actually be there but now you can see an object with this there's no way the but the sun is going to be in a binary with it it's just pulling the, the inner solar system like the inner solar system is still all in one chunk right there but all the outer solar systems just being pulled into it and obviously the sun will be um causing it problems look at this look how much it's spinning it's just shredding everything that collides with it oh dear so there's all that we've got a massive explosion over here i think that was planet 9 wow look at all that it's made quite a cool shape cool Alright, so there's all that. Yeah, Planet Plan 9's still chilling out there. That's not going to last much longer. What's the view looking like from Earth? Let's have a look here. Yeah, Earth's heating up as well because that star is pretty bright. So here it is. So it's land um, over here in the sort of China area. Alright, um, let's have a look around. And then you got that massive star there. Oh dear. Then you got the sun. So yeah, that thing's not looking pretty nice. And oh my god. Alright, we do not want to stay on there. So let's keep going. Alright, now it's really heating up as you can see. But as we get closer and closer to the sun... And as less and less objects, um, or more and more objects get destroyed, the simulation will run faster and faster. So we're going to go in a few days here. We can see it's shredding all of the little inner solar system planets away from the sun. It's made everything crash into it. Once the sun hits it, we're probably going to have some bad news, though. So, oh dear. Oh, look at the massive fire it's releasing as well. Oh, very, very pretty cool. Alright. Oh dear. So you can, it's probably going to pull the um, Earth away from the sun any second now. Oh dear, look at all the fragments it's making, jeez. Oh no, Earth! Oh dear, that's uh, not nice. You are extremely close there, and it's gone. Alright, and now the sun is about to go, and it's pulled everything in. Planet 9 is still just chilling out there. We're going to have to speed that up, because that should be way closer now. So let's, uh... There you go, Planet 9. Go, go there. Oh, actually, where is it? Wait, ah, oh, put it all over here. No, we don't want that. There we go. So, um, I'll do that. But now, we're going to focus on the sun, because that's where all the action is going to about to appear from. Look at all the collisions on this star as well. You can see all the explosions of where our solar system objects have hit it. So, here we go. So, Mercury's about to get destroyed as well. Oh, dear. Oh, Mercury's gone. So, that's another explosion. Now, all that's left is the sun. So, oh, look at all the fragments that are being created as well. Wait, we actually managed to make a fragment star? 132 Jupiter star. I'm guessing when Jupiter or Saturn hit it, it made another star. Look, we just got a fragment star. How many of these are there? Wait, let's have a look. So we've got a lot of fragments. And we have two stars there. What the heck? 
We've got two stars and we've got three gas giants all created from that <laughs> collision. All right, so let's keep going here. The sun is going in. Oh, dear. Any second now, it's going to collide. And it's gone. Oh, my God. Oh, dear. The goblin's still alive. Oh, no, no, it's an over remnant. Oh, dear. Oh, that is a massive crash. So we still got a few dwarf planets just chilling out here, but they're not going to last with that Nova inbound now. Oh, dear. Oh. Oh, look at all the... How's the goblin doing, is it? Oh, it's a black hole. Oh, so that had 500 Jupiters. So that's about 485 Jupiters mass has just been exploded out. So, oh, damn. So all these separate clouds have got 17 mass each. 19 mass, they're all separate. But I'm guessing all that adds up to around 480 masses of sun there. But, yeah, there you go. That is just a, that's a big explosion. But, yeah, there we go, guys. So that is what happens if the goblin was made into an object around the size of UI Scutty, and then it got closer to the solar system. So, yeah, obviously I had to speed it up. So if anyone's mad about, oh, you shouldn't have speeded it up, it's not realistic, well, be my guest if you want to sit and watch it for three hours while the simulation slowly runs it closer, because it would have literally taken forever. Oh, and now the black hole's exploded, I think. Has it? I think it has. Oh, Jupiter and Uranus are still around, but... Then we just have a bunch of fragment Nova remnants. So it looks like multiple Novas have happened from all those fragments. But yeah, that's a pretty cool glow, I have to say there. If we zoom out, that's a cool purple glow. But yeah, that's pretty much the end of the solar system right there. There's not really much left, is there? I mean, trails. Yeah, this supernova covers the whole radius of where the system was, it looks like. I don't see any trails for the goblin anymore. Actually, it's probably because the object's destroyed, but... Yeah, that Nova's pretty big. So, what's the size of it anyway? I mean... Yeah, that's, that's quite a big Nova. 300 AU, yeah, that's um, that's definitely getting out into the universe there. But yeah, there we go, guys. So um, let me know what you thought about this down below. I know these uh, videos have always been pretty crazy. But yeah, it's um, nice to bring back an old series video now and again. This won't be like a permanent series anymore. It's just like a one-off episode. But if you want me to do any more objects, then let me know. Because um, I don't mind doing more. Because this series has always been fun. And remember, I built my channel off this series. This was one of the first series I ever did. Actually, no, it was. This was my first ever series where I turned series into a star. That was my very, very first video of this series. And pretty much the very, very first... Or one of the very first videos with my voice in it as well. So, yeah, very old series. And it's always nice to go back to doing these episodes. But, yeah, let me know your thoughts down below. And if there's any more objects um, you want me to do, then let me know. Because um, I'm definitely willing to do more of this um, every so often. And also, if you've got any ideas for what if videos, also let me know down below in the comments or my Discord server. If you want to join my Discord, the link is in the description in all my videos. Um, so, yeah, there is that. And yeah, let's see if we can go for 50 likes on this video, guys. And it also, subscribe if you're new, helps on the journey to 6,000 subscribers because we are really closing in on it now, now. So, that's our goal. Let's see if we can get it before the end of the year. It is going to be very close by the way it looks. So, let's see if we can hit that, guys. And obviously, a massive thank you as always for watching this video and uh, supporting the channel, leaving comments, likes. And a massive thanks to everyone who's in the Discord who um, has this nice community going. So, um,. Yeah, there we go. That is everything, guys. And I'll see you in the next video. Make sure you have a great day and goodbye.